So Nova launcher is almost gone. One of the best and the most popular Android launchers for almost 10 years is basically done. So what actually happened? Let's break it down quickly and I will also share some of the best alternatives you can use to keep customizing your Android phone. Nova Launcher came out back in 2011 and it quickly became very popular among Android fans. Back then, if you wanted to actually make your phone look cool, change icons, add some sweet gestures and customize your home screen, Nova Launcher was your best friend. It was fast, reliable and just worked. For most Android fans, setting up a new phone was like unbox it, open it up and download Nova Launcher. That's how popular it was. But everything started to change when Nova Launcher was bought by another company called Branch. First, they fired everyone except the main developer. Then in September 2020, basically last week at the time of recording this video, the only person working on Nova Launcher also left the company and he was also stopped from making it open source. So you can see how Nova Launcher went from being one of the best and the most popular Android launchers to almost nothing. And honestly, it is kind of sad because Nova Launcher was not just an application. It literally changed the overall game of Android customization and losing it feels like the end of an era. So you might be thinking, can we actually do something to save Nova Launcher? Honestly, not much at this point because everything has been shut down. You can still find the application on Google Play Store, but it is not going to receive any further updates. But there is something cool happening right now. Some Nova Launcher fans have started this petition to make it open source. So there is a slight chance that something nice can happen. I'll drop the link in the description if you want to sign it and see what happens. At the end of the day, the best thing we can do is to support other Android launchers to keep this customization alive. And that's why I thought to show you some alternatives if you are looking to try something new. Number one is Niagara Launcher. If you love a simple and a clean home screen, Niagara Launcher is going to be the perfect option for you. It does not try to copy Nova Launcher. It is unique, fast and awesome. You will get all your applications in one clean vertical list. No clutter, no endless pages to scroll through. Your favorite applications are always there at your fingertips. So Niagara Launcher is really good for one-handed use. Also, the latest updates are amazing and now you can get some excellent ready-made home screen setups. You can try the free version first and then maybe upgrade to the premium version. Number two is Smart Launcher. This one is pretty old, just like Nova Launcher, and it is quite popular as well. If you prefer automation plus customization, Smart Launcher is going to be a good option because it will organize all your applications into different categories, so you don't need to spend a lot of time creating a good setup. On top of that, it offers some pretty cool widgets and some unique features. If you are looking for a home screen setup that is actually different and stylish, Smart Launcher is going to be a great choice. At number three, we have Launcher Launcher. If you love that stock Android look but want some more customization, Launcher Launcher is the way to go. It is super similar to what you get on a Pixel but with way more options to customize. You can tweak icons, grid sizes, gestures and a lot more. And because it is open source, it feels trustworthy and lightweight. Launcher Launcher basically gives you that Google look but it also gives you more control. Number four and the last one is Kvisitso. Another open source launcher that feels very unique because it offers a completely different home screen layout where you can access almost everything. Customization is also one of the strongest features here because you will get a ton of options to choose from. Apart from changing icon packs, gestures, grid sizes, you can add some really useful external plugins and some inbuilt integrations which make this launcher a great choice. And most importantly, it is completely free to download. And that's the story. Nova Launcher after being the king of Android launchers for more than 10 years is basically being retired. The developer is gone, open source plans have been stopped and it looks like it is the end unless something miraculous happens. But if you love Android customization, you can try these alternatives I mentioned in this video or you can also mention your favorite Android launchers in the comments. And I will also keep you posted if there are any updates related to Nova Launcher. So don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.